Daisy, you're so fluffy. Are you gonna face us today? Hey there, I'm Tracy Rose, and welcome to today's video where I'm going to share with you the ultimate YouTube checklist. And this is a 20 step checklist with images and obviously I'm gonna show you some video in this video on how to upload your videos so that they get seen by your ideal audience. Oh, Daisy, where are you going? This guide will really take you step by step on how to upload your videos properly so that they get seen by your ideal audience. Now this checklist is also in PDF format. So if you wanna download that to your computer or your mobile device, or if you wanna print it out and have it as a checklist each time you're doing a video, that will be really helpful for you. So I will put a link where you can download it in the description of this video. Now, as well as the 20 point step-by-step -step checklist, I'm also putting in kind of like a secret on how to tie all this together at the end of this video. So my Make sure you watch until that because if you don't have that <laughs> the steps won't really work. Like you'll get some results, but not the results that you're after. Okay, let's get started. So here's the actual checklist that I created. What I'm gonna go through is a couple of things prior, and I know I wanna get into the steps really quickly, but there's also a bit of an intro as to what are the ranking factors. So ranking videos and getting those videos in front of the right people is really determined by a couple of things. And the main thing that I think is your relevancy. YouTube only knows that your video Video is relevant and will push it to the top if it understands that it's relevant by you doing all the steps that I'm giving you in the checklist. So if you just did a random video but didn't do any of the things that I say in the checklist, how is YouTube supposed to know that this video matches with that? So you've got to help YouTube understand that your video is actually really relevant for somebody's search results. Okay. Another ranking factor is how many views that your video gets. Your video doesn't necessarily need to have hundreds of thousands of views if your video is relevant and people are clicking on it and then watching it through the whole video or for at least a whole chunk of the video then YouTube will like your video and push it up the search results even more so that leads me on to another ranking factor which is watch time and watch time is really how much of your video are people watching how engaged are you keeping them in the video are they clicking off within 10 seconds are they staying on one minute three minutes ten minutes into the video basically YouTube wants you to keep people on YouTube so the longer you can keep people watching a video the better YouTube also loves engagement such as clicking the thumbs up button if you can get people subscribing to your channel or commenting and then you commenting back YouTube loves that now there's 20 steps in this list now what I'm going to go through is exactly how I do this for lots of different niches that I've done videos for people from the very beginning. So it's not really till step seven that you're actually uploading, but there's a couple of steps prior that if you don't do these the right way, it's kind of like, don't bother doing the video, honestly. Okay. <laughs> So step number one is doing your keyword research. Even if I'm doing videos on video marketing, email marketing, slime, <laughs> my daughter has a slime channel. Now keyword research can seem kind of daunting to some people, but let me give you a really, really easy place to start. If you go to answerthepublic.com, you can basically type in your niche and then I clicked the button and it gave me lots of things that people were asking about that specific niche. So I've done videos in the past, for essential oils while I was building a network marketing business around that. And I came up with a search term which was called lavender oil uses. Now another really cool keyword tool that I love using is called KW Finder. And if you want to use this, you can go to tracyrose.com forward slash keyword tool, or I will put any links in the description of this video so that you can use those tools as well if you want to. So once you've done that, you have your keyword or your keyword phrase. Okay, so the one that we're going to go with is lavender oil uses. Okay, step number two is where you're starting with the end in mind. You've got to start with what are you actually using this video for? Are you doing a video to promote an affiliate product? Maybe just trying to get leads, get people to download your freebie. Maybe you're getting people to subscribe to your channel. Start with the end of mind. Where are you going with this video? Why are you putting it up? And what do you want people to do as a result of watching this video? So at the end, okay? So let's just say for my example, I'm going to put together a free essential oil recipe ebook. Next, I come up with the video idea and the title. Yeah, I start with the title because I want to be able to put that keyword in the title. So for my example, 
I've come up with 25 surprising lavender oil uses. That is the title of my video and obviously there gives me the idea for the video. So in the video I'm going to come up with 25 ideas for lavender oil and some of them are quite surprising so that's why I put that in my title. Step number four is I'm going to write a plan for my video. I do make sure that I do my videos basically in a four step formula. You might have heard of other types of video formulas as well. This one's pretty much what I do for 99% of my videos. So put the letters down on your page Q I A C. Q stands for question or statement. This is kind of like how you're going to hook people into watching your video in the beginning. So at the start of this video I said I'm going to share with you the ultimate YouTube checklist. Once you've kind of hooked them in with a question or a statement then you want to introduce yourself and I wouldn't make this too long because people will switch off. You really really wanting to people to watch more of your video and stay on for that all important watch time and get the information that they really need. So let's just say we're my example my lavender video okay. Did you know that lavender oil is one of the most versatile essential oils in the world? Okay so that's the question or statement so then I'm going to introduce myself and here's the thing you can say your name where your business is from maybe your credentials you can even say your location. So I could say something like this hi there I'm Tracy Rose and I'm coming to you from my home in Sydney Australia and in today's video I'm going to share with you 25 uses that you can use for lavender essential oil or I could say hey there I'm Tracy Rose from Bossy Goddess Essential Oils and in today's video I'm going to share with you 25 ways to use lavender essential oil and some of these you might not have ever thought of before. So it's kind of like you're doing a short little intro and then pre-framing also what you're going to say and give them in the video. Then the A stands for the answer. So you've got the question then you've got the answer. So the answer is like basically you're going to answer their question in their mind. You're going to give them the content. So then give them the 25 ways that they can use essential oils or like I did in this video I'm giving you the 20 steps in the ultimate YouTube checklist. So it's like the meat and potatoes of the video. Then comes the all important call to action. Let's just say in my example I'm going to give people a freebie download. This is an example of what I'd say. I really hope you've enjoyed this video on the 25 surprising lavender essential oil uses. I actually have a free guide on the 101 ways to use the top 10 essential oils. So if you'd like to download that look in the description there's a link there and you can download that for free right away. So that would be my call to action. Okay we're up to step number five and then I'm going to go a little bit more visual with you show you stuff on the screen. So step number five is recording and editing your video. Now don't get too caught up on this. I'll give you a couple of things that I use to record my videos. So if you don't have a camera just use your phone. Phone cameras are incredible these days. If you have a microphone get a little microphone that plugs into your phone or into your camera to make the audio better. The camera that I actually am using at the moment is the Canon PowerShot G7X Mark III. I have had the Mark II as well and the Mark III is amazing. It's just a cute little vlogging camera and the reason I use that is because it's really easy and compact. I can carry it in my handbag anywhere I want. Then editing so you can just use iMovie, I use Final Cut Pro X on my computer and I love another little app called InShot. But if it all gets a bit too technical just outsource this part of it. Okay here we go into the nitty gritty of this. When you record your video and you're going to save it to the desktop of your computer you want to label it with your keyword okay. So you want to call the file name your keyword. Step number seven is upload your video to YouTube. So just click these little icons and follow the YouTube prompts to upload. Now it's going to take a little while to upload and so then we're going to fill in all the other things. So let's move on to the next steps. Now depending on when you're watching in this video on the right hand part of the screen you're going to see a little drop down menu that says maybe private, unlisted, scheduled or public. So for now I want you to check your video as unlisted. We're going to change that soon but for the moment keep it as unlisted. Then go to the title of your video and fill that in. So you obviously want to make it have the keyword of your video in the title. So come up with a cool title like I said the one that we're doing is 25 surprising lavender oil uses. Then step number 10 fill in the description of your YouTube video. This is where most people get lazy so if you want to be ahead of the pack actually do these steps because YouTube will love you for it. So I would say fill in at least 200 to 500 words. You can transcribe the video and put it in there. You can put in all about the video what it's about 
out, maybe put in some links that you have talked about in your video, maybe some of your contact information, how to subscribe to your channel, things like that. So just fill that in. Step number 11 is adding in the tag section. The tags is your keywords. And so this is a really good indication to YouTube as to what this video is about. So when someone is searching in YouTube for say my keyword, lavender oil uses or whatever video you're doing, because you've tagged it with those keywords, YouTube can go, oh, that video is about that. It wants you to give as many relevant keywords as possible to put in the tag section. So I'm gonna put in lavender oil uses, but I also might put in other keywords that are relevant as well, such as how to use lavender oil, lavender oil for the home. Does lavender oil really work? So I'm gonna put in keywords like that, but I would have done this keyword research back in step one, remember? So you would know these. Now you wanna go create a thumbnail for your video. And this is the image that's gonna show up in the search results when someone's typed in what they're searching for and they see the little images of all the videos that are in the search results. Now this is a really big deal. You definitely want to have your own thumbnail and not just have one that YouTube has chosen. However, if you do have a brand new channel and you don't have thumbnails switched on on your videos yet, that's okay. Just let YouTube choose that one. You can go and change it later. But if you don't have it switched on and there is an option to just follow the prompts through YouTube and get those thumbnails switched on your videos. The place I go make my thumbnails is in canva.com. And the reason is, is because they have a YouTube thumbnail little template. So you don't have to work out what size image you're using or anything like that. Just use the YouTube template in Canva. Step number 14 is to actually upload the thumbnail. Go and do that. Oh my goodness, you're almost there. Step number 15 is to do the closed captions or subtitles. Most people don't do this at all, but it enables YouTube to really understand what you're saying in your video and to know that it's relevant for the search terms that you're going for. So I would recommend clicking on the subtitle section and adding those in. Now there is a button to click so that YouTube will auto generate those. And I have found even with my Aussie accent, YouTube is pretty good at figuring out what I'm saying in the video. However, there may be a few things that you need to change. Maybe they've spelt a word incorrectly or maybe YouTube just didn't get what you were saying. Maybe it's the name of a product or something like that, not a generic word. So there's an option there to go and edit the auto-generated captions. Another thing that you could do is go to rev.com and for a dollar a minute, they will transcribe your video, give you a file and it's called a SRT file. So on the end of the name of the file, it will say .srt. Save that to your computer. And then there's a section in YouTube where you can upload an SRT file to YouTube and all the subtitles will upload into the video and be all aligned with the right timings of when you're saying things. Now, number 16, create cards. Just these little things that pop up in the corner of your video when you wanna say something. So I might give an example now that I do have another video on how to create tags for your videos on YouTube. So I'll put a link here up in the corner of the video and if you wanna go and watch that video, you can click that. Or I've got another video for you to watch if one of the things that you're worried about is getting your face in front of the camera. So I've actually done a great video on how to be confident in front of the camera. So as you can see here, I'm giving you examples. You're giving reference to maybe another one of your videos. So hopefully that people will watch your video and then go watch another video, another video, another video. <laughs> Again, YouTube wants you to keep people on the YouTube platform for as long as possible. Step number 17 is to create a playlist around your keyword. Now, I may actually have to go and do another video on how to do playlists, but essentially you're wanting to group together videos on your channel that are around a certain topic. So if you don't do this one, I would probably say this is the only one I don't do every single time, so it's okay. But I wanted to add it in here anyway because I want to be really really thorough with everything that you can do. Okay remember when I said that you wanted to list your video as unlisted? Well I want you to go back to that section because now that you've added in all the other things you want to make your video go public or if you're not ready to schedule it right now and you're scheduling these in advance there is a way to pre-schedule your videos through YouTube so click that option and line up when you want your video to go live so if it's in a 
weeks time, in a couple of hours time, maybe in a couple of even months time. You can pre-schedule through the YouTube scheduler. But say for this video, we're just gonna click public. Okay, step number 19. Now that you have published your video, Congratulations, first of all. Next thing we're gonna do is go and click all the little social share buttons because you wanna get your video out there as much as possible. So click the share buttons so you can get this video out there. And then step 20 is to try and get as many relevant views as possible in the first 24 hours. So you want YouTube to think, oh, this is a cool new video. Let's get this out there. So Woohoo, you are done. Now, remember at the start of this video, I said to you, I want to show you one secret that's actually going to tie all this together. So you are almost there, but I want to share this with you because if you don't do this, that whole 20 steps is going to be a massive waste of time and I don't want you to waste your time. Let's get into it. So what is this real secret to making YouTube videos work for you and your whole channel actually blowing up? and getting a whole heap of raving fans and bringing customers into your business. Well, that thing is nothing really surprising. <laughs> it's consistency. You wanna make sure that people know that you're going to be there for them. They wanna trust you. So you need to be delivering content consistently so they feel like, yep, you're gonna be around and I can trust you to be there and I'm waiting for the next video. And that's how you create those raving fans that come back time and time again. If you're really inconsistent, it's much harder to to get results out of your business and a return on your time and investment that you've spent on creating the videos. Just schedule it into your whole yearly marketing strategy. Make a commitment that you're going to do your videos weekly, fortnightly, or twice a week. Just make a commitment. However, this actually doesn't mean you need to record and do a video every single week. My big suggestion is that you batch your content. So do a couple of videos at a time. And that is it. That was a big checklist. But actually, if you have this printed out and you know to do this every single time you upload a new video to your channel, your channel will grow. And in my experience, you will attract customers, leads, raving fans to your business so that it will grow. So what next? Well, I suggest printing out this PDF. I have put the link in the description of this video. Have that printed out, download that. So I hope this video has inspired you to create videos that are of value and really get stuck into growing your channel the right way. If you know someone that's been trying to get their YouTube going, or maybe they've been doing YouTube but not really getting the results that you want oh <laughs> she goes <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> That was a funny little launch. Then make sure you share this video with them or even just tag their name below so that they get a notification to watch this video. I know it'll be really helpful for them and I'll see you in the next video. And if you have any questions, please, what? That's very <laughs> Daisy, just wait. Oh, no, don't walk on the computer.